it's a question because I don't think any Cold War president, you know, from Truman to Reagan would ever contemplate that the United States would be on the brink of war, uh, potentially nuclear war, over whether Ukraine would join NATO. I don't think any of them ever contemplated yeah. such a situation. It's, it's impossible. But again, what the Europeans thought and what the Americans thought were very different. It was a dramatic divergence of opinion and perception there. Your audience needs to understand that. And I think what has happened is something that I forecast back in January when I had a conversation online with uh, Dimitri Simons in uh, Washington. And I said, I think if this thing lasts for more than a few months, this will destroy NATO. And I think that's well underway, uh, especially since, as you know, I, I'm very well connected in Germany. And the things I hear from the Germans are frightening. I think by destroying the the Nordstrom uh, connection to Russia, and then ultimately with this war that we've done everything in our power to expand in, in Ukraine, the Russians are prepared, or excuse me, the Germans are prepared to walk away from us. So I think what will happen now is we'll see some sort of restoration or rapprochement between Moscow and Berlin uh, on the scale of what we've seen historically. And that was supposedly something everybody said they wanted to prevent. So now it's going to happen, absolutely. And, I, and there are lots of Germans who are very upset with the Polish government that, that continues to beat the drums for war. The, the Germans don't understand why. And I, I continue to ask why. I ask all the time when people say, well, this isn't this a good thing? We're weakening Russia. Russia is an enemy state. I said, really? I said, Russia is no longer the Soviet Union. Is Russia massing armies to invade Western Europe? No, of course not. What is Russia doing that it deserves to be destroyed? I never got an answer. Well, they're bad. They're anti-democratic. Well, a lot of the world is anti-democratic and always has been and probably always will be. It's, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances. And I think the Poles, to a large extent, have fallen into this trap. And they, and they need to get out of it. They need to see what they need to establish their interests. What is Poland's interest? Does it really coincide with what this government in Kiev wants? Is that what they want? Are they un unified? Are, are they on the same side striving for the same things? I don't think so. Uh, 